Hey everyone, this is Vikas from Small Academy and welcome to another Flutter widget tutorial. If you are coming from the native Android development background, then you know how hard it is to implement the tab bar in Android application, right? But in Flutter, it's really easy to implement them. So we don't need to create extra files and view, uh, tab bar view and so on. All we have to do is call the built-in methods and we are ready to go. Let's get started by creating new Flutter project. I'm gonna open up my Android Studio here and click on new Flutter project. Here I already have the Flutter path selected so click on next and here I need to give the Flutter project name. I'm gonna give tab bar demo as the name for our Flutter project. I'm not gonna change anything else because it doesn't matter because I just want to show you guys the demo of the tab bar or tabs right. So click on finish and it's going to create the Flutter project. I'm going to come back in a second once the this project is created. Okay, the project is created. Now, I'm just going to go and run this application just to show you guys how it looks in default state. So, I have my emulator here. It is running. So, I'm just going to run this application. Okay, the application is created and uh, it is running in my emulator here. And you can see this is the default Flutter application. So, if I click on this button, it's going to increment the count here. So what we're going to do is rem uh, remove this default application, uh, remove this default screen and load our own screen. Okay. So I'm going to go to the leaf folder and create new home screen. So create new dart file. I'm going to give name as a home and here I will create new stateful widget and give the name as home. Okay. Now we need to import the material library. I'm going to do that. Okay. And here I will just display the something for now. So I'll display some text indicating that it is the home page. Okay. And now I need to load this screen from the main.dart file. Instead of loading this my home page here, I'm going to load the new uh, home that we have created, right? So I will remove this and load the home. Now, when I load this, it's going to uh, open this blank home page. Now I need to set some properties for a scaffold and so on. So let me remove this container. I don't need it right now. Inside this we'll have the app bar. So this scaffold is having the properties called app bar and here we will set the new app bar. And inside this app bar, we will add our tab view, okay? And as well as I want to have the body. So I will just give some text properties right now. Now when I reload this, it's going to have this app bar and the text of body of home that I have given here. And now I need to give the title. So let's set the title for our app bar. So we'll call the properties title. And here we will set the title that is tab bar demo. Okay. And if you want to center this text, then you can just center it using center title properties. And we just need to set that to the true. So now it's time to add the tab bar view. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to add tab bar here just after this app bar and load the different screen when you click on the tab bar, right? So to display our tab, we need to use the properties called bottom in our app bar. And what this button property is going, what this bottom property is going to do is it's going to display anything that we place inside this bottom properties uh, just after this app bar here. Okay. So here we will call the tab bar property. So this is the widget that we'll use to create the tab bar. So this tab bar is going to have the argument or it's, it, it needs the argument tabs because we need to specify how many tabs we want to display here. Okay. So here I want to display two tabs. So I will add the two tabs property. So let's call the tab and give the text. And the first one is called first tab okay and the second one is called second tab okay so when i save this and refresh this it's going to give this no tab controller for tab bar error because we have not uh, given any tab bar controller for our tab so let me uh, first set the tab bar view and we will come back and set the controller okay so here at the body of this scaffold i will set the tab bar view so this tab bar view is going to contain all the screen for our tabs. Okay. And it's going to take the children property. And inside this, we need to pass the two tab bar view. Okay. 
uh, if you have three tabs here you need to pass the three tab bar a uh, view if you have two then you need to pass the two okay so right now i only have two tabs i'm going to pass the widget for two tab bar view okay so right now uh let's display some data here okay so i'm gonna call the container and i will add the text property and similarly for the second tab okay now we need to set the tab bar controller so there are two ways to set the tab bar controller we can explicitly create the variable for tab bar controller set that to this uh, tab and tab bar tab bar view and tab bar uh, and there is another method that we can use we can directly wrap this scaffold inside the default tab bar controller so let's implement both of them i'm gonna start by implementing the default tab bar controller here so i'm gonna wrap this scaffold with new widget and i'm gonna call default tab bar controller here so this default tab bar controller requires length property and here we need to pass the how many tabs we want for our application so right now we are having two tabs so i will pass the number two here if you have more than that then you can pass that number here and make sure you pass the correct number okay and now if i save this it's going to load the tab for me so that is first tab and second tab and if you want to add icons you can do that as well so here icons and you can call icon property icon dot let's say search and it's going to add that here okay okay right now i don't want any icon so i'm just going to remove this icon properties from here now in that way we can load the we can uh, use the tab bar here but what if you want to use the uh, different page for this different tab so we can do that as well let me go ahead and create new pages here so this is the first page okay stateless first page i'm gonna import the required library here the material library and i will display some text property here so let me add center property so this is our first tab content and similarly i'm going to create another page for the second tab so second dot okay second tab i will also create the stateless property here and set the name as second tab and similarly we need to import the material library after that i will again add some center property with the text now i need to load these pages into my tabs so let's go back to the home here where we have our tab property setup and in, instead of con calling this container i will call the first and second page so let's call our first page okay similarly we'll call our second page okay this is called second tab all right no problem now you can see we are getting this first tab content and second tab content okay and if you click on these tabs it is going to change itself so that was how we use this default tab controller but if you don't want to use this default tab controller and want to use custom tab controller then you can create that as well so just after this here i'm going to create the tab controller okay and we'll give the name as controller and we need to set the, this as a late modifier we need to add the late modifier here and uh, after that we need to initialize this okay and we'll initialize that into init state make sure that you are using stateful widget here otherwise if you use stateless widget you cannot uh, initiate uh, init state here so you need to convert that to the stateful widget so here uh, now we'll initialize the controller so tab controller okay and we need to pass the length that is two and we need to pass the vsync as to this so now here in the vsync we have this error uh, it says we cannot assign this to the parameter ticker provider so here we need to implement the ticker provider so we'll with single ticker state provider mix in we'll fix that error okay after we implement that we need to call we need to assign the controller to our uh, scaffold so let me remove this default tab bar controller from here okay now we'll add the controller here and we'll just pass our controller and similarly for the tab bar view we'll also provide the tab bar con uh, controller so we'll pass that as well after that um, we need to dispose this controller whenever we are not using this so we'll call the dispose uh, method here we'll override that after that what we'll, we'll do is we'll just dispose the controller so these are the all the steps we require 
to implement the tabs in flutter so let's run this application again we'll just hot restart this after restarting the program now we can see these tabs here with our controller and we can uh, scroll from first tab to second tab and so on so these are all the steps involved in creating tab bar view in flutter i hope you are able to learn something new today there are other things that we can do as well we can programmatically change these tabs and so on so if you want to learn about that uh, you can read the documentation or you can leave the comment below and i will make another video on that but for now i hope you are able to implement this tab bar with your flutter application and i hope to see you in the next video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one